Ah, what a peaceful village. Surely there can be nothing wrong with this. Surely they are completely innocent. With no strange ideals that have caused much stress and comfort in our world, surely they are all perfect beings with nothing wrong with them whatsoever. Surely this is perfection. Or is it? That is right, I can prove, almost beyond the shadow of a doubt, that these civilizations are, in fact, communist. The first piece of evidence to show that all world bot civilizations are communist is when you look at the inventory of the average person in these civilizations, do you notice anything? That is right, all of their inventories are the same. Yes, even the king has the same amount of inventory as the normal citizen. The only people who have more stuff in their inventory are the soldiers who need the weapons and armor to defend the people. And it's not like having an adamantite sword benefits the individual soldier, since they can't exactly sell their sword or armor. This kind of equality can only be found in the works of Karl Marx. Do you notice something else about these citizens? That is right, they are all working equally. They all do roughly the same amount of work without pay. They are, mot they are motivated purely by desire to be benefit their state and to the benefit of the common man. Speaking of money, do you notice something else? Yes. These people don't actually have money. Now, yes, the kingdom does have gold, which, if you look at the kingdom tab, some of it does go into funding the army. However, all the wealth is controlled by the state, not the king. Since you can see the king himself has got no wealth, except for the fact they might often have better armor than normal citizens. However, it's not like the king can sell his armor, and it can be argued that the king needs the armor, possibly more so than the soldiers, in order to ensure the kingdom doesn't have a succession crisis and begin the civil war, which would likely cause more people to die than would be saved by giving the armor to someone else. Besides, in most instances, the king will still fight in order to protect his kingdom, even if he is the last one standing. Now, at this point you might be thinking, but proud, how can they be communists? They literally have a king. Isn't the whole point of communism to abolish the monarchy? Well, yes and no. Well, generally speaking, Communist governments and monarchs don't tend to get on so well. It is not like a communist monarchy has never existed before. That is right. After the 1979 revolution in Grenada, the communist government took over the country but decided to keep the British monarchy as its official head of state. Now, in all fairness, it was purely a politically motivated move, and the Queen didn't have any actual power over Granada. However, if a theoretical mono communist monarchy can exist in real life, why can't a literal communist monarchy exist in world bots? Okay, okay, this is my most important point yet, and it's so important you probably have just skipped the entire video, just listen to this last point. <clears throat> Maxim is Russian.
guys, thank you for watching. As you probably figured out, this video this video isn't meant to be taken too seriously. I'm sure Maxim isn't trying to spread communist propaganda via his video game, and is more likely trying to make a living for him and his two children. Regardless, uh, good luck, and remember to like and subscribe. I know everyone does that, but there's a really good reason it is because it really helps. Alright, see ya, and keep your likes.